I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Hi. Hi. <sighs> Hello. I'm so sorry I'm late today. I'm so sorry. I was mowing the lawn, okay? I had a good reason. I had a good reason. Um, I may have gone a little overboard, okay, you can't blame me, but I am union level 27, when we last stopped I was human level like 7. <laughs> My data bank is level 10, I found almost everything, I've unlocked co-op, and exploration isn't that bad, but I've done a lot of stuff. Um... But there's a lot of stuff I still haven't done yet. That being said, I'm doing some world quests right now. Um, and every side quest I've done is almost done. I have no dailies. I have one exploration quest, two companion stories, and obviously the main stuff. So today my goal is to finish the companion stories and the exploration quest. And just see how far we can get with stuff. Um, I did lower my, my, my soul phase because I was struggling because I didn't have enough to like level up my, my characters at all. I did ascend Rover and Jinyan, but nobody else. So I'm kind of struggling. And I did get her finally. I, I, I pulled because when you get like certain stuff with the event banner, um I got a bunch of free stuff. Um yeah, so I got a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you got- you get 10- 15 free, so I did that. I get- so... Um... I want to do the overdash stuff I haven't done. I haven't done track 3, 4, and 5 yet. So, I'm gonna actually go there and do those. Yeah, he's- I love his attacks. He's really fun to play. So, I just need to level him up. The other thing is, um, so basically, echoes are like artifacts in Genshin, and they're really hard to farm in this game. And when I mean really hard to farm, I mean like, oh my god, I'm struggling. Oh my god. <sighs> like, even some of the better players are struggling. Like, it's really hard to get good stats. <sighs> Cherish every gain. Volume, by the way, is everything good? Hi, Awalwa. How are you, sweetheart? <sighs> what was I doing? Oh, I'm silly. I, I completely got sidetracked by stuff. supposed to be doing this we can give how do you feel of the new event it's honestly i wasn't expecting it it was honestly pretty fun to do both sides are actually decently interesting i've already done everything for it this morning so um
It was. It's fun, but it's not like. Damn. Nice. Thirty-two seconds. All right. Event. Cool. I need two more. Okay, let's go here. Where is this one? Alright, I am sick of you tracking, like, a bajillion different things. So, first of all, cancel that. Alright, are you done? Is that all? Fantastic. I can teleport here. I mean, it's not- it's not their best event, I'm not gonna lie. But, it's interesting. It's not, like, you know, boring or anything. It's just like, oh. I like that they have representatives from every nation there, which is really cool. Not too tedious. I'm not doing it at all at once because it does give you some of the experience of the commissions. Yeah. That was easy. An unexpected discovery. Yes. Ready for battle. Swift and resolute. Sweet. I think uh, the one thing I genuinely like about Uwa is that I can skip the dialogue of side quests like this remnants of the past <sighs> hi gamer like red how are you I'm good. A bit tired because I just finished mowing the lawn. So my body is aching. This is the last thing I haven't done yet. What is that? Oh, okay. I will do that later. Is this Sonic combined with Genshin? Kind of. Lol. That's just like an event thing. This is, is a gacha game called Withering Waves. It's a very action-based game. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for the biddies. No hesitation. Just a reminder that we are doing charity for 
the Trevor Project today. So if you have a little money to spare, type exclamation mark Trevor. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. And you can donate. And every five dollars is me doing twenty push-ups. This is just specifically an event that l makes it look like... Sonic. the dailies. And that's understandable, you know, you gotta spend your money on, on what you wanna send. Since we finished that, let's track this quest again. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, what do I have got for Kaveen? I mean, I already have hips. So I might try for go for Yinlin because she's pretty awesome. I love her moves that she does. Reminds me, let me go to my resonators and level him up. I need him 45. Jesus Christ. Can I ascend you? What do you need? It's up to you. Oh, it's that thing. All right, fine. I'll go fight it to level her up. She's my only healer right now. I'd be getting pricey nowadays. Oof.
Are you serious? I bet 99 out of 100. I was like, no shot. <sighs> Alright, I need one more ore. Reverberation. Strike the shadows. The end has come. Leave it to me. Finale. Wind Rider. Down. Swift and resolute. I'm sorry, that just doesn't seem worth it. Like, even if, like, I, I, I just don't see a point in spending that much money on a game, like... Administering first aid. You're wide open. That, for me, to be honest, that doesn't make a difference, like... Oh, you poor soul. Don't. I really wouldn't. Uh, a reboot. Uh, I would see for me if I'm. I need three of those. Where can I get this? Synthesis. All right. Fine. For now, I'll go here. Why am I doing this? I literally could teleport next to the waypoint, but I'm just dumb. Me personally, if a game is gonna cost me that much, I wanna look at it first. Nice pick. You won't regret. Hey, that's fair, but there's been a lot of games lately where the trailers look amazing. May this journey bring us closer to the truth. And that the game sucks ass, so... I just wanna, you know, my, my recommendation is watch a few... A little bit... Of gameplay first. Water vortex. Huh? Oh, damn. For emergencies. Falcon, how's it going? Like for an example, uh, when I when I got Baldur's Gate three, it looked amazing. I'm gonna be so frank. I'm just not interested in the game anymore. It's not my cup of tea at all. Like it's not interesting to me at all. Like I just don't. I don't. I don't see anything interesting about it. And that's what upsets me, is it's like $60, and now I, 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 I can't... I, 
not enjoying it. So, that's a great. Just return to dinner. Oh, what do you have for dinner? What was good? So, yeah, I'm just saying, be careful. That's my recommendation. <sighs> and I'm only skipping the dialogue because it is it is side quests that they have. It's It's literally not important. Typically, I'm not too fond of steak, but if I get it a specific way, it's it's pretty good. And now it's 200 minerals. Cool. By the way, how's the audio? Is it good? I don't know. I, I can't... I, I feel like him breaking and like fighting is always really loud compared to the music and myself. So I just want to make sure that... sound a bit tired. I'm really exhausted from mowing the light. The, shadows. the hour is upon us. Ready for battle. Come forth. <laughs> Hello, uh, I can't see that name. Uh, is it, is it, is it, is it? Why are you Linko? That, that's your name. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hi, how are you doing? Did I miss a message from you? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! Do you understand that? Turn the friggin' frogs gay! Serious crap gay! Frogs friggin' frogs! It's not funny! I'm gonna say it was slow for you! Gay! Frogs! Look, look. I was just making sure that I wasn't doing a dumb. Hi, Gay Garlic Red. Thank you so much for the raid. What is this? This is, uh, Withering Waves. Do I have to beat up all your minions to beat your ass? 
Garlic bread, appreciate you, sweetheart. If you need to write and run, I totally understand. Oh, you, know you can always ask me to send a voice message, you goof. I saw, I saw, I saw, I said that they are. I saw the butterflies. I swear. Weird. Anyways, uh, uh, Linka, thank you so much for hopping in. I hope you're having a good rest of your day. And again, thanks for the raid. Raiders, if you need to, you know, do what you gotta do, that's totally understandable. Take care of yourselves. And, yeah. Cool, I did that. I'm back. Hello. What am I missing? I will do the push ups. It's this way? Okay. <laughs> um, I will do the push ups after this, uh, I get this quest. Thank you so much for the follow, Linko. Hey, I'm here to bring you some snacks. Hi, Matthew. Uh, I take this. Mmm, I love snacks. Mmm, fries. Mmm, I want fries now. I will take a break every two hours. Hi, Mew. It's been a long time to see. I, th I thought you were taking finals. How'd your finals go? Kiss your stupid face. I passed it now, but it's summer for but it's part of the program. Hey, yo, poggers! What is. What is. Oh. Oh, day classes are good. At least they're not some. some something where you're stuck inside all the time and in the middle of the freaking night, too. Can you die? Dag. 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 Death. Ready for battle. Dragon man. I'm assuming there's gonna be one more wave. No, I guess not. Whoa. Supplies. I did. I unfortunately lost the 50 50, but one of my viewers gifted me enough money to, uh, to, be more to use for him, which I was just like, there was no need, but thank you. I appreciate you. I unfortunately just recently started this game, so I'm very much behind. I did end up lowering my world level just to make it a little easier on myself because I was unable to like is this is no it's a different company
so it's a completely different um, mechanic and all that stuff. Yeah, it's 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 similar in the sense of yes, it is a but it's got a lot of different stuff that makes it very different and unique. Again? Bro. The end has come. God it's late. Yeah, I was wondering why you were awake. Been crying for exams and I'm just existing. Honestly, valid. You bitch. Can you fuck off? Shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> Ooh, busy. I hope wasn't too busy. Remnants of the past. You think with these uh, giant vortexes of water around, it would be pretty easy. I think I might get stuck in New York City. On the plane? If you do, I can see if you're stuck there for more than, like, X amount of time. I could try to see if, you know, I can come. Because if it's too long, then they get you another flight, and sometimes they'll give you a free hotel. I might be able to come see you earlier if that's the worst case. But I don't know. It depends on days. I'll try, though. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boop you back. There we go. Remnants of the past. <coughs> Pardon. Check 
pee on my own saliva. <coughs> Jet lag will be real though. Nah, I was just choking out my own saliva after I took a drink. Yeah, no, I, I, I've been out all day, so I'm pretty tired. Um, trying to mow the lawn. And the lawnmower kept dying because it rubbed up batteries. It was incredibly frustrating. Fuck are you? Oh. Hello. I'm skippy. <laughs> it's the morning axe. Turns out the guilty berry is an energy field. So Page of plants. We're doing it now. Type of the mistake of Whoa! Boss fight! Laser beamed my ass, all right. Shit, okay, I'm flying after it. All right, I see how it is. Oh my god, it's the Devalin fight from Genshin. Holy shit, Lamau! Uh, in Genshin Impact, there is a fight scene just like this where you fly as the traveler and you fight a dragon. It's at the beginning of the game. Bro, stop running away, you're almost gone.
damn. Nice. Okay, it's, 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 an egg? Slay? <laughs> I have no clue what just happened. There's no dialogue. Cool, am I done? Let's go. <laughs> Cherish every game. Uh, that was great. Yay. Haha, 69%. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, I think other than that, there's a free meal too, and then there is the two companion stories before we get back onto the main story. Uh, this one shouldn't take too long. I did so much side questing offline that I, um, I was just, uh, shocked, honestly, because I was just like, oh, this is... This, this is not much to do. Literally solve like half the puzzles. I have the mail river too. Ooh, yeah. Um, who's your favorite character so far? <gasps> Dragon. <laughs> yes. Although I'm not gonna lie. Scar. We like Scar in this house. The lady I have. Of course, Artie has the lady. Artie chose Lumine, too. Can you fucking move your ass? Get in the car! Hell yeah, chat! Oh. I was knocked unconscious. You left me no choice but to kidnap me. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this is... What? What? I guess that would be backwards. No, I, I wanted to attack forwards. That's... Oh, hang on. Technically, that's his right. Bro! I hate these kind of games. <laughs> Fucking mini games. Yes, I'm fucking sure. You dumbass. God, that took you so long. I can't fucking sprint! Ah. 
You have to, I think, uh... I don't know if that... Wait, no, that's right. Never mind, you just spelled it wrong. I was like, huh? Finally! Go to bed, you silly goober! You're wide open. What the fuck was that? Transmitting frequency. Yes. I love you too. An unexpected discovery. I will pay. I I not. I don't know, man. I'm kind of you know in, <laughs> in another country still. <laughs> every gain I will be for the I see the threats in the horizon I think I just said my death warrant yet Dang. Does that mean I can't cuddle you? Oh no. Please don't punch me. Lamau. I love you too. Have good sleeps. See you soon. Strike from the shadows. No, that one should go there. Me think. There we go. Rank two? Ah, oh, fair enough. Defeat the man in red? What, what do you mean, defeat the man in red? I thought I already defeated Scar. Rank two, nice. 
Yeah, I got to I got to that, and then I did the ascension quest. So I'm now rank 27, or whatever the level is. An unexpected discovery. Hell yeah. Hello. I do not care. All for lore and questing, but not side quests, because those are so boring. There's no audio or anything. If there is audio, I will obviously listen to it. Break. Set. Swift and resolute. He isn't my husband, so I'm, I'm fine with this. Scar is my husband. I love him. Cool. Um Cool. Let's do this then cuz I haven't done that yet. Too, which means I can give him the Sonus caskets. I believe in total there are 121 Sonus cac Sonus cactus caskets. Oh my god, I can't speak English. In the game so far. Um, but if you guys don't mind me asking, if you're new to the stream, let me know how you found me. I would. I always love learning more about how people. Um, discovered by content, so I, I know if I'm doing something right or not. Um, and if you like the content, I do post on YouTube, so anything helps. I've been trying to hit 1k on YouTube for four years now, so my remember is level 37. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, there's 115, it looks like. Okay. Head to the theater. Yeah, so we're gonna do Ling Yang story quest, then Yin Lin story quest, and that leaves us with literally nothing else to do, quest wise. <sighs> uh, let me just. No, I don't want that. I would like to go to Resonators and fucking finish upgrading him. Do you- I did not! Thank you for reminding me. I will do that right now. I promise. Thank you so much for reminding me. I am a klutz when it comes to remembering stuff. I still need to get her stuff. Yeah, I just got her. She was my choice on the five-star banner. So. 
I have had no luck with, uh... Any of these guys, so... Oh, that's disgustingly awful. None of that was good. Oh, good God. Please be something good. Crit damage! Let's fucking go! Aw, oh, you're getting equipped it immediately. Okay, hey, let me do the push ups before I start doing work on this stuff. Because I haven't done that thing. Alright. What? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Oh. Uh, I have a cat in my room for context. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, let's see. I have this guy up for you. Let's see what you do. Ah, oh, crit damage. Let's go. You're good. Okay. So, remove. I do! Her name is Mars. Marcia! I'm sorry. As she slams open the door, Kool Aid Man style in the background. <laughs> What do you mean, cost? Oh. Alright, we'll leave him... ...with 30% crit damage. Although, his HP isn't the best. Let's... Now, okay, that's much better. And then... She doesn't- she's not Electro. What? Equipped that. Oh, that's a crit damage one. Hi, hi. 
I said available from the stream. Yes. I'm kind of working on this. I just saw it. It was, it was, it was... What? I'm not crazy. I just saw it. It was this, but in blue. I, I... Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Give me that crit. No, I miss it. Ah, it's alright. Um... It, 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 it. There. Now let's see what we have. Yeah, 36 crit damage. Look at us go, chat. We're so good at this game. That was sarcasm. Why is 36 like really good? Nabooch, I, 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 I just mowed my entire front lawn. <laughs> if you're thinking about donating for charity, if every five dollars is 20 push ups, sit ups, or, 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 English piece, um, jumping jacks, and I will al alternate for my arms. Uh, but yeah, no, every $5 for charity for the Trevor Project, if you kept exclamation mark, Trevor. We're trying to get to $100, and at $100, uh, we will be doing a giveaway on Steam. Where is it going to? Uh, Resonators, yes. Uh, let's get her to 20 And I can As I grow, even my breaths feel lighter. Cool. My goal is to keep up with everybody. So the only three that aren't level 40 right now are this one, Yang Yang, and Inverina. Monsters into sh I love him. He's my second favorite character. I just focus on three. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, wanna take a look? <gasps> yes, please. Okay then. Here you go. <laughs> candies. Try some. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. But isn't isn't there isn't there isn't there an abyss that requires probably like six, right? Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. <laughs> what bro is just looking at us? Do I smell funny? <laughs> I can't. Bro is like, let me look at my hands. Rover. Yeah. Hiya. I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. Oh my god, he's got the little uwu mouth. 
You, you. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. That that's not how friendship works. That that that's no. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. His little ears wiggling are so cute. Yeah, so the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. So I picked him as my free five star because I was like, I love him. And then I got Sethroth, dude. I but I think for my main three, I might focus on is the rover, what's his name, Dragon Man, and my healer that I have. The frost healer. And then once I get them all done, I will focus on everyone else. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh. Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit... <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk... Uh, don't get me wrong. This is just how we treat our guests here in Jinjo. You'll love the hospitality here. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. Private lion dances. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the... We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. Okay, so I'm all for stories, and I love this game, but this entire conversation makes no sense. We just met you, we know nothing about your performances, and you're acting like we know everything. The writing needs a little bit of work. But first, gotta figure out, Big Rover. One, we can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from a... Great! Let's go! Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, but, let me think. Um, Arctic my is... My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. Is there, is there, I know there's the, I started the abyss, like spiral abyss version of this, which is over here, this thing, the tower of mastery or whatever. Um, that being said, is, is it three constantly or do you have, or do you have to have six? Can I skip this? Oh, yes. You're done. Now on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Blissful yes. union, endless. All oh, right. Just one more. I actually have to him. Go. Um, he was the one that I got for free. I got him on a banner. I got I lost my 50/50 encore. Everyone else is like pretty cool, but I would like one of each type to be maxed out. So out of all of the characters, I still would like to get what's her name. She's really cool. Yinlin. I am broke, so I don't think I'm anywhere near pity either, so I'm not going to get her. her yeah she was fun to play in the demo that i did so i kind of once i got him i was just like i'll pull for her if i don't it's whatever like i'm not gonna spend extra money on her what 
is my pity on this banner. 5, 10. 10, like 12, Lamau. Hi, baby. What do you want? Are you being silly? Are you being a silly lady? I like the way she plays, is what I was saying. Like, I genuinely Here thought. we are. This is the place. Hey, -a, mister. Lion. Oh, hi. What brought you here? My lion dance trick. Look, I got the lion pepper. Sir, there's some. Yeah, I heard. Exactly. So I. Nah, no need to worry about my little. Oh, and you must be. I'm the <laughs> rover. <laughs> Looks like. Here, try this while you're. Go on, rover. Dinner's on to really get to know a city. Yum, yum. Hey, sir, can we share this snack with... Let me do something for you. Oh, my. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild... The Jingle Beast? Yeah, <laughs> somehow the nickname sounds cute, even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff. When hunting, it makes these jinglings... No, that's not true. The... It... It's, a. Uh... Wow! Actually, I need... Do you have any other ways to... Rep well, there's only one place left to get it. Apparently, they're in... But it's crazy expensive. Five... I'm just a small sh... So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you. Me? Oh, Rover's... My I'm Rover's fine. name is Kyo. Aw, yeah, I named mine Rain, because my name's Rain. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to do... Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. Nice. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. How many more fish do I need? Well, uh... Yeah, I'm stalking you. Sorry, but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal. Really, I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. How did you know? The client who called me had a mature... And since he said he's from the Bay Fei Shi, has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the line. You can trust us. Yeah, totally. It's about my brother, Beiji. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. Oh. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, the savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I 
I see. Rover, you're so clever. Thanks. Hey, she, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi, but it's dangerous. I... I can handle it. Us pioneers never... never back down, but I... If you insist, he's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer Rangle. on our journey. I think I like... To be honest, I don't want to... Rover, but please... please help me. Okay, so... so... so here's the thing, right? In, like... In Genshin, and I'm doing comparisons here because I'm a huge Genshin nerd, they just kind of assume the Traveler is going to do it. They don't even ask please half the time. These people are like, I know you're the illustrious rover, but please can you help me? And he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, it's like they're asking nicely and they're saying please, and I really Amazing. like that. The guy who brings my package. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Oh, I didn't mean to. I always choose this silly option. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Arctic, I have a question Rover, for you since you're back you here. Um, for Great. the the abyss or Let's the go. tower, right? The the this version of the abyss. Do you need six resonators or just three right now? <laughs> Butterflies. Also, yes, I did lower my world level. I, I, I couldn't. I was not able to farm enough to the point where. Like, I could actually do any damage at all. So, I did lower the world level for the time being. Is this like a maze? Interesting. Where are the bomb flowers? Is the question? Time to fight back. to be more prepared. How do you lower the... I'm not going to tell you things until you play it. The answer is a question. You just see one character. I've already done it. Like, I've already gotten... Like, 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 like... Hang on. I've already done the first floor. See? Hi, Python Row. Welcome to stream. I just don't... I want to know if I need to start building other characters earlier on. That's all. Um, how do I... You just click here. Hello there. And, um... And, um... um, It'll give you the option to lower it from soul three. Uh, so, I'm at rank three, technically. But you can only do it every 12 hours. Um, hi, Toa. How are you, sweetheart? How's the finger? I haven't seen you in a minute. Hope everything's go going well for you at your new job as well. It should be Wait. There's someone calling for help. Over there! The Who Chiefs are at And honestly, I'm not here to be, you know, hardcore gaming. I'm just here to have fun. So if I've got to lower my world level, then I'm going to lower my world level. <laughs> Jump's fine. Bit busy, but okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ooh, thank you. You saved my life. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. Um, I start my new job tomorrow, so stream times are going to be a bit weird this next week until I start working. 
and getting it all figured out. But once we do... So, just expect late night streams is what I'm just saying. Like, And on the weekends, I like playing the realm. Okay, that's fair. From the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The bro- Shh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Finger is on its way to be full here. My minerals are so Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh. Thank keep you. Quiet. Yeah, I think Do it'll you be. You see fun. these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. Mm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the jingle beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew, are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. Damn. That is Yang Yang. Right? Is it Ling? Ling Yang, sorry, not Yang Yang. This is. This is. How could this be? Bei Shi. What kind of person is he? He's a. He's a. His name he's is Ling Yang. Shy and, and he's a careful, little. But not sneaky. He, he is he a may lion. Be timid, but he really loves me. Bei Shi, sometimes we can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. So his backstory is that he was very much, he like, he like trimmed his nails and like did all this stuff to change how he looked because people were afraid of him so that he could look more like a human and not like a lion. That's his whole backstory. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else? It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. They might be using this to make people believe they're not just spreading rumors. Ugh. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. I also now was very excited problem. to get him for free. He was we like my keep favorite tabs on the savages the to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Sounds good. The savages are- She'll be safer with you by her side. If anything happens, thank you, Rover. You- So... This thing may still- hmm. ah. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Alright. Perhaps you were right. Your brother 
is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. It's probably because Yay, I joined the Power Bobby Association. Yay, My brother was really a but that was my childhood dream. I, I don't know. <gasps> no, I know. A while ago, when I was on a mission, as I struggled to escape, I, I can't rem. After hearing the bell, I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared if I hadn't made it. So, yes. This... All right. Let's go. Dragon. There he is. Hi. Rover. Wow. It's only been minutes since I sent you the signal. Didn't expect you to... While I was tailing the savages, I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. A loud bell ringing? I... Let's stick with the Beiji thing. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a newbie who was obsessed with the jingle beast. I think what? The booched. And just now, they sent him to some deep cave. Oh, fuck! No boost, you did not. Did you just, did you just donate $70 to the, to the charity? <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? Who just donated seventy dollars? The boots, thank you. We just hit our goal. Let's go. Um. So. 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 Okay. But that's so much math. I have to do math. Hang on. Hang on. Seventy dollars every five dollars. Seventy divided by five. I hate math. That was my worst subject in high school. Leave me alone. Seventy divided by five is fourteen. Because because it's it's I have to do it's supposed to be the incentive was every five dollars I do like sit ups and push ups and, 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 and stuff. I'm gonna do every ten dollars for my easy brain, and I'll do seventy and I'll split it up and do twenty five of each. <sighs> thank you so much. That is that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, no, thank you so much. Seriously, we just raised a hundred dollars for the Trevor Project. And while you're all here, if you want to go check out the latest YouTube video, it is out and about. Please go check it out. It would be the world to be. Um, just give me a minute. Um, sit, sit, sit. Well, I'm gonna autoplay this. I'm sure I did And I'm gonna go do ring. 20 jumping so jacks, 20 sit-ups, 20 push-ups. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, all right, jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, don't eat my shoes! 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Marcy, stop eating my brand new shoes that I just bought today. Thank you, ma'am. <gasps> well, given how big it is, I do smell <laughs> danger from this cave, though. <laughs> Probably Beiji is in mm -hmm. danger. We need to act fast. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, push-ups. Rover, I probably shouldn't... Could you please help us rescue him? Pop did the push-ups. Once right. we find him, we must make One, him explain two, everything. Three. I, I'm going with Five, you. Six, My brother's seven, in there. Eight, I want to find him nine, as soon as possible. Ten. Bei Shi, I understand how much I'll you want to find your brother. I'll do the other ten in like half an hour. <laughs> I'm so really dark tired. Inside, and we've got no idea what could be hiding in there. Besides, I have a more important thing for you to do. I need you to go back to the city. But I don't want to run away. Bei Shi. As an expl a seasoned explorer knows how, and sometimes choosing to retreat doesn't mean we are weak. Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. So, I have, I'm so happy we raised the hundred dollars. That is, that is, that is, that is amazing. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, that being said, uh, after today, uh, just because I, I, I'm going to, um, be starting work and stuff, I will be turning off the campaign. Um, but thank you so much for hitting the goal. That's, oh, that's awesome. Yes, I will. Please help him. And please stay safe, you two. No worries. We'll bring him back. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very All right, much my um, companion now. Godbook. Oh, she does crit damage. Holy shit, one fifty. 186? What? What? Huh. I didn't realize I had good damage on them. Damn.
All right, let's. Oh, I'm assuming that this this. This place, it's full of different smells. Plants, beasts, tacit discords, and humans. I'm pretty good at... Look, I bet Beiji... Chat, it's a... <gasps> okay, chat, I have the option to pet the cat. Like I'm putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the friggin', friggin frogs, frogs gay. Serious crap. Gay. Yo. Frogs friggin' frogs. It's not funny. I'm gonna say it real slow for you. Scott, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Rainer Falls, and I'm an ancient face storyteller VTuber. We're playing some Wuthering Ways. If you don't want spoilers for some of the uh, story quests for the uh, characters, I highly suggest that you just, you know, look away. If you need to raid and run, I totally understand. Make sure you take care of yourself. Hydrate. Do what you gotta do post-stream. Scott, thank you so much for the raid. I totally appreciate you. I hope you were having an amazing time on your stream. If you don't need to raid and run, to do tell me a little bit about yourself. I'd love to know what you were doing, how your stream was. If you do need to raid and run, like that is totally understandable. Oh, understandable. Stay back. Make sure that you take care of yourself and have an amazing rest of your evening. Ooh, you were. That's awesome. Thank you so much for trusting me with your community. I really appreciate it. Have fun, Arctic. Thanks for the lurkies. Every gain. The rocks just fell and blocked our way. Here, I'll break this rock. What is this platform esque? What is this? stream once again thank you so much for the raid like i said if you need to go i totally understand but if you want to stick around we are doing some charity today's the last day for the trevor project charity that we're doing um because i start my new job tomorrow so i won't be able to uh be able to stream as much um we just hit our goal of a hundred dollars so they help us find our way in the dark pretty handy right but be careful our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. Whoa! It's not too... Oh. And it keep... <laughs> the scent is coming from below. The rocks here look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. I heard you like platformers. Oops. Sorry. I always recite this as I hop on the poles. I got carried away. Ah, uh, I do mm. to a so degree. Many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. Ah, 
I played a lot of Hollow Knight. Um, more Rover, I'm here. With They're not my favorite genre of game anymore. The Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. I'm just a little lost on why it's in Hua of all things. I honestly didn't expect it. It's not a bad That's thing. It. The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spear back. Watch out! More tacit discords. It's just a little weird. Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. Let's get out of here. Remnants of the past. It's really interesting to be honest. I I would never expect of all games unexpected discovery. Wuwa <sighs> being one of them. It's been a while since I last swam. This feels so good. Wow. I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places. And I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Let's keep moving. Okay, fade to black. Cool, thanks game. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Oh well, at least we'll get the- I... I'm not afraid of you. I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof against you. Even if you kill me, it won't change the truth. There are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Beiji wasn't working with them. Our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run. Run, don't even think about it. Huh? You think you were smooth? Yeah. We saw you spy in it, and now we got you. Time to pay for your sneaky ways. Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast when you could be a human? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Every... Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak, to give their prey a false sense of security. Make what? I haven't been this angry in a while.
Rover, we'll show them no mercy. Hell yeah. Since you've chosen to act like beasts. my true strength wow <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness submit while you can or would you prefer getting torn to shreds <laughs> you startled those things awake boss well, what do we do now well uh we're fighting them? We're running, of course. What? Wait, wait, boss! <laughs> Rover, watch out! Oh, shit. Don't you dare lay a claw on him! Don't worry, I've got this! Death. Swift and resolute, strike from the shadows. This is my curtain call! I love the ult, like the fight style. It's so much fun. Swift and resolute. My time to shine. Moment of resonance. Dead. Easy peasy. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, there's three of them. I see your weakness. Lions rumble, evil crumble. <sighs> you hurt my friend. You die. Rover. Sorry I said fire thanks to the dailies. GGs. That was scary. What the Please fuck? Keep it a secret between the two of us. I'm alive. Thank you for saving me. Oh, and uh sorry, but uh my sister, Beishi, she's been worried about me. Is she doing okay? That's good to hear. Thank you. I didn't expect she would. I'm sorry. Sorry I made you worry too. Yeah. I guess you've already heard some of it from her. Our parents were both members of the Pioneer Association. They were famous explorers. Until we lost them. We've been okay. struggling to survive I'm since sorry, then. I don't Beishi, exactly want to hear. She said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association. And she's the last family I, I tried to ban her from joint, to be honest. When she, unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. As her looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes, I shouldn't have tried to make the decision for her. It's too dangerous. He Your sister's been worried about you. Cool. I, I, I would like to leave. Yes.
Why? Why did this happen? Yep, we're not listening to that. I don't need to listen to that. Okay, there's something underground, and that's why I would like to know... I can see the underground passage this way, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is it... Who saw me? Uh, this is... Has a discord field... I guess it's not over here. Whatever, I will figure it out later. Cool. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up- Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors about an- So I thought? Yes. I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. Hi, lady. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? But in the end, I failed. Couldn't find the jingle beast. Couldn't beat the bad yeah, guys. Um... I only knew how. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No. At least you didn't. Succumbing to desire. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves. For, it only takes a moment for... But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Beiji, I'm sure your sister is proud of... Really? Yes, I love you. Okay, yes, I promise you. But, um... We now know the so-called jingle so Beishi. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. No way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei. Rover Lin Yang. Sure. Go get some good uh Don't tell me you've forgotten. No. Sorry. Actually, I made that but now. I see. I know you've still got questions about the jingle. I see. Yeah. I'm ninety nine percent sure the jingle. I know you still have a lot of questions him. to ask, and there are things I. Please, follow me. Keep going down this road, and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Sir, may your business boom. Thank you, Lin Yang. Can you make the NPC run slower, please? I'm, I'm definitely not able to keep after up. After our, after our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I, I, I must do what I can to keep it thriving. I can't believe I missed this chest. Cherish every game. Have a happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Ling Yang. <laughs> 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 
Miss Gamshwe's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Phew! Ling Yang, you're fi- Oh no! Rover, could you look around backstage for- I'll be- well, Hurry up! Master's getting angry. I'm coming! I'm coming! Ah, thank you for the dailies, Falcon. Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of... Hmm. Lion dance shows started at... It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in the game. Beiji wanted to kill, but that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the Jingle Beast now, but another Twinkle Beast could appear later. It's not enough to just defeat that one Jingle Beast. One must have the courage to take on... That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our Lion Dance performance. As the Lion Dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements. Our goal is to create a custom... Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's lion dance show. Oh, okay. Is I is there no way to change the time? There is. I need it to be tomorrow. What time it said? 5:50 to 70. Cool. They are. Hi, Rover. There you are. What? Oh my god, he's a baby! What? That's so cute! Someone's calling for help. Such a baby boy. <laughs> this is such a good cutscene.
I gotta love him. He's, he's so cute. Oh my god. Hi. 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 That was... That was... That was... Was so good! What?! Oh my god. I was once chased by a big creature and, and I heard about the Jingle Beast. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back so... I must have the bell that sounded like it was chased. The lion dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. Yeah, I loved your... Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, and, um... I am upset, because you never told me anything. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise. I promise. I know a nice food stall. Awesome. Beish. He's such a baby. I love Wilbur, it. <laughs> how was my performance? Did you like it? <laughs> Getting your compliment is all that matters. Rover, I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. Rover, let's talk here. I didn't even read that, Lamau. Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Yes. Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it happened. A long, long time ago. I didn't ago, skip that. The Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It I used to have a name. Exiting Hugo. It was called Swan Ni. Back then, the Swan Nis lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the tacit fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanese with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanese were deemed evil. Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that ch The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And... That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. And then it yanked off all its fur. This is so traumatizing. Claws, twisted its bones 
and learned to stand upright. Bro literally physically altered his body just to be human so he wouldn't die. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. He's such a baby. It must have been lonely has the last of its kind. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catac. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. <laughs> the face the rubber made. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. If it truly wanted to become, if you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Yeah. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a... Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast... No in this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul Yeah, no, of a it's, human. it's so obvious he's Just talking about himself. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's the like soul he of a beast. It will remain resolute. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Thank you, Rover. Wingang, come here. Coming. Rover, I must come watch my performance again next time. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. So sweet. What the fuck? Aww. That's oh, he's so sweet. Oh, baby. Yeah, I only have her quest for Yinlin. And then main quest. I don't really want to do her story quest on stream, to be honest. But there's also this thing right here. So I'm going to go grab that because it looks like a main quest. Oh god. What's my thoughts on Yin Lan? Ah, uh, she's I love the way she plays so far. I know nothing else about it to be honest. So I can't say, but it was it was she was a lot of fun to play. Um, so, I, I, I know that if she ever gets a rerun, I'll save up for her. What? What do you mean? No quest popped up due to Jesus. I haven't done that yet. I'm on something else right now.
when it's timed, I hate my life. I have no idea, um... Anything about her other than her playstyle, so I can't really say. No hesitation. Feelings. Okay, that's actually valid, yeah. The end has come. Can you actually stop being a hard boss to beat? Because I don't know if I can beat you. Haha. <laughs> Peace out. I can. Yeah, I can handle this. It was yeah. worth it. I don't want to be doing co-op. Who just sent me a request? While I was in the middle of a fight. Bruh. Oh, I got him. Okay. Um, I don't think I was supposed to fight it. I think I was just supposed to go e examine it. Feel the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is gonna happen. There you are, Rover. I've been summoned. That my sustenance. Not teriyaki sauce. No. <laughs> You're a brat, Marcy. Thank you. That is not what she said, but okay. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have the Academy has noted a concerning oh. rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, okay. but I think it's cute. Let me just. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. The 
back at us again? Ugh, those jerks! Jian the general, Jean C the magistrate, and Jue, the Jinjo sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No hmm. idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To yeah. further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the Crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the Blood Red Crescent that foretold destruction. Whoa. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Until the retroact rain began to fall. The what? Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm, no matter what happened. Oh. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the Overthrax with all his might. And he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard-won retreat. Oh, that's that's the general. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. It's UA, first of all, not Jur. Say it right. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huan Long. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who will guide us into the future. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. Cheapest translator? Yeah. Honestly, though, the reason why that upsets me is that there are so many talented but lesser known voice actors out there that would have done a better oh, job. First time hearing about all that. For way less money. Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Rover. Madame Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected. Oh, no, she was a teenager! It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshi because they trusted Jir's judgment. 
Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madam Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. Mom, she yeah, thanks the bush. For this. Have a good day. Uh, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Grover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madam Jinshi? The Norfolk Barrens? It's been a battlefield since ancient times. Grover, it's dangerous. Grover, since you were asked, they sent two overseas. So the Fraxidas do seem to know. And right now, the Grover, since the Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like this flower. It's only a photo. And I can't tell where it came from. Hmm. We're still in the dark. But if we are to look for them, but since it's about flowers? Yes. <laughs> Grandma Lynn loves listening to storytellers. These two again. should be the shortcut to the back mountain once we cross the waterfall we'll reach mount ping ting <laughs> the flowers seem to be showing us the way let's follow it I go. <gasps> A bridge of flowers. <laughs> That's impressive. <gasps> oh, it's her. I have her. She was really pretty, and I was just like, I love her. introduce myself for it is it is a delight to make your acquaintance i am verena my pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today <laughs> my apologies i used to live in the new federation so i'm not very familiar with the etiquette here hi verena i'm chisha this is yang yang and he's rover grandma lin told us we should come find you <laughs> oh right grandma lin talked about you i left those flowers so she knows how to reach me what seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with. We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an Marcy, unusual no. flower indeed. Pure Marcia. black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. 
When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. And it's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huanlong people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower. It's a single petal flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff. I learned a lot from that. Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature. So I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone. We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Shizya, wait, what did he just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the black shore members should immediately notice it on you, but to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower. Given that, if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability, if you just need something that looks similar. Come on, Verena. You can do it. No way! That's amazing. Seriously. It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's freaking amazing! And the could rover you do that goes again? Please! I love it! Marcia, for fuck's sake. No. Child. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. Rover, we've been seeing these black petals where one streams have been disrupted. Rover, okay. Rover, please. Exodus. What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman. Always getting in our way. And what are you doing here? Get lost. To take them down first. The weird noises persist. They're coming after me.
If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. Okay then. here for now all right her I remember her she has the same earrings as the rover hmm. looking for me Holy shit, I knocked her out. That's not a... That is a interesting pose. <laughs> You're such a box full of surprises. So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? For Sorry, once, but it's just for so once. much fun to rile you up. Look at her earrings. They're the same as Rover's necklace. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's what it says in the rules, at least. Our plans? Hmm. What is it again? So are you in? Nah, uh I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? To stop at nothing for more power, take down any prey without mercy, and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. The ultimate pleasure, and this scene is a... Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, I'd love to live that way. But alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them oh, all. Oh, Mom! What did they say like that, girl? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hell no! Look, you ate my cup of tea, darling. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Okay, so at first I thought she was with Scar and she was the other overseer. I was wrong. So why did she and Rover have the same things? My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to block. Then, once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I like how cold you sound. You're tempting me to push your buttons a bit more. Relax, relax. I'll behave for the time being. Okay, I'm so sorry to the voice actress. Your voice is fantastic, but I don't want to hear you <laughs> in my ear. No need to be so I blame the audio much. engineers on that one. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. 
I got rid of Alt. Ew. Don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games. But if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you... Huh, you're mine. And I don't like sharing. Okay, what is it with this entire company and just Yandere characters? First, Scar is like, yeah, it's my little lamb. I want to play. You're mine. And then this bitch being like, yeah, you're mine. What is it with this? Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden. You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Nothing in particular. The way you look at me, though, it's almost as if... No, for, but I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. My name is Camellia. Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. And she's gone. Huh. That was fast. Rover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Is that a friend or a foe? Are you hurt? The Black Shores. Did she tell you anything? Phew. And Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. Sure. We are in the shop. Uh-huh. <clears throat> that was, like, the weirdest interaction. Like, she is a great voice actress. Just the breathing in my ear was highly uncomfortable. So I genuinely, um, completely and utterly blame the entire audio devs for not fixing that. Rover, there you are. We walked the streets, wearing the Blake Bloom like nothing in particular. Hey, aren't you- Yeah! You're so pretty! Can I take another selfie with you? The one we did- <laughs> Please stop teasing me. Shinsia did say she found someone's- Oh, this guy. Rover, perfect timing. This guy's been sniffing around here for a while now. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping an eye on him. Elderly and minors, uh-huh. And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. This is super fishy. Hey, I'm Patrol Achisha. Sir, business license, please. What business license? Uh-oh. I'm Altel, just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well, I'm an honest broker of information. Always open to negotiations at the right price. I'm the all-time Intel champ, with more best-seller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Then... Um... Who's your supervisor? You should at least have their ID number. M my supervisor? Oh, <laughs> right. She's like a super big deal. She's an ancient being, born with this planet we're living on. 
She's the will of the star. The reverberation of everything in this world. So do you even have a supervisor? What? <laughs> Come on! I already told you! Yeah, yeah, I... Now, sir, you're... Oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone. A little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. You really think I'm gonna... Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. Yeah, exactly. Wait. Oh, her. Oh, oh please watch out. It's dangerous to run like that. I've looked everywhere for you. Back off! Leave that girl alone. Miss Patroller, she's the girl I've been looking for. Hello, little one. Is yes, Uncle Alto sells stuff without a license. He listens in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. Ah, uh, encore. Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. Is that what you're gonna focus on? Out of all the things she Ms. just said. Serena, where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. I managed to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Don't worry. Encores have plenty of that mushroom already. But why did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Encore? We got your back, little one. No work. Because... Because Encore must keep an eye on him. <laughs> uh, kids could have such wild imagination what? sometimes. <laughs> hey, Alto, didn't you just send Encore there? Wait, why are they all giving you the side eye? Encore, since the situation has come to this, I've got no choice but to tell you. We're here for business, and it's a crucial one. You want to know what it is? Let's go, Encore! Hey! See ya! We still have a... <coughs> Wait! <laughs> we can't let him get away! I I'll go search in the residential area. Mocking us? I'll go down that way towards the patrol station. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. What? Here's another split in the road. I'll go look for him in the square. I'll leave the other side to you. The gaps between each mist figure are shrinking. Over there, at the end of that alley. Yeah, come here, buddy. I have you. Huh. Now you're here. Well, we weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. Be good, please. 
Encore and Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. That's enough, Encore. Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea to have those two ladies wear those kind of must admit? They looked quite convincing. If so, you worked with a plant type resonator. Interesting. A plant type resonator? Yeah, there are more than one of them out there. Not a bit. So please, tell us, what do you want from a Black mm -hmm. Shores? Why? Like what they say here in Huang Long, the straight hook is for willing fish to bite. Da -da -da -da. Your efforts finally caught our attention. I knew he was from the Black Shores. Surprise! The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. Now, how's that for a piece of intel? <laughs> oh, not I know you must have a task. You already know. I'm an information broker. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. <laughs> We want you to come with us to an abandoned... In turn, I'll tell you... Ed well, if you don't take this... And since you're a first-time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. Here, have this. This should... Pre and if you still have doubts about us, to show... Finally. Encore! Do your cute face! Quick! What a dirty move. <laughs> oh, please help us. Pretty Look at this poor child. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's Mire. And don't forget to come alone, okay? Oh my god. I love him. He's so funny. Rover, did you find what? Serious? As I expected. This flower is indeed, and it contains a very unique. No way! <laughs> Not as mysterious. What did they tell you? That place. Because of the dangerous weather conditions and. Don't worry, Yang Yang. We all. Okay, Rover? I'll tell the Academy about this, and they'll help track. There have been frequent tacit features. Just ring us whenever you need a hand. Okay, I think before we even continue. I need to go fight this thing while we're time to send her. I need it, uh, her to be higher. Well, I can finally level Yang Yang. Oh, he needs these too. And so does she. Right, I need to synthesize those things because I don't have enough. So it's like crafting. I have plenty of the smaller ones. I just need the bigger ones.
That should be enough. My thoughts are clearing up, and my resonance with Yotan is getting stronger. This is all because of your help, isn't it? I think I need more crit rate. That's that's my problem here. So so um filter no. What? Did I not filter it? Electro damage, attack, energy regen. This has crit damage. Here's crit rate. Still so fucking low. It's twenty two over one eighty six. That's better. It's not the best stats. I don't really know how to build anyone, so...
I'm gonna heal myself first. Jeez, it's been three hours already. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are times. I've said the coordinates of that CSC. Now that we're in the same boat, the Corda Savante is mis what really put them on. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the one day a daring young Alto? Why are you telling bedtime stories now? Ahem, <clears throat> my bad. One day, out of the last words. Ahem, <clears throat> you want my research? You, what do you think, Rover? <laughs> I suppose the magistrate we've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament collecting data as the saying goes one miss is as good as a mine after the court of Savante researchers disappeared all recently something went wrong that's why we've been sent here while our main goal is to retrieve the lost Alto. it's called seize the opportunity while I Is my TV detector working? How come it didn't warn us of so many tacit discords at? Because they all just appeared out of nowhere! That's weird. Anyway, let's deal with them, shall we? Ah! Uh, die. Swift and resolute. This is the place. Ugh. Those savants really love their puzzles. Don't. <laughs> no wonder folks never managed to get inside after all these years. That's because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, we've got to figure out how to open it up again. Why was this hard for you to figure out? This is... Ugh. No wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Reign. Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. The Retroact Rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the Etheric Sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension oh, are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The Retroact Rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. 
Before the retroact rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the retroact rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions. While Didn't some we? wanted to relive a particular experience. There was a whole area that and I others, cleaned earlier to reunite that with had ones. the rain going upstairs. Not upstairs, fuck. Upside down. And I think that's what that but, was. <laughs> look at all these devices. It really makes one wonder. What on earth? The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Willie's run away! How's subject A038 doing lately? It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. In most cases, it remains motionless. However, we notice some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica, after all. It's far from the true form of those gods. By the way, things have been... You notice it too. I suspect it is something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger, but it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be A038, right? I'll go check the security camp. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now. Fraxidus Overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to oh, build this place without Oh, the Fraxidus were here. Okay. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lad's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, this time we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all. The experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The artificial retroactive rain project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's mire at some point. Okay. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan.
cherish every gain. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. One with the sounds. Game, that's not what I wanted you to do. Now, this is the last room. again. There. I'm smart. It's getting closer. These will be my final words. <laughs> if only I had more. I thought my enemies were misconceptions, waning passion, and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize time is my ultimate foe. I became blindsided by my fear of death and the insatiable thirst for truth, eventually derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We. We had already walked into that false gate. Now, I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past, but they are also our future. Yeah. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again. Please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Her. Wow! She sends us here! So pretty! Lore. Rover, about this person. Knew it. Great. Now that power has been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. the elevator am I blind I was blind. Whoa. That's a... That's a beastly thing. Monster! 
Damn! Those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Looks like peace is an option. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> then this big guy is encore to tackle. Cosmos, Cloudy, attack! Let me figure out its weakness. Let me figure out its... Hey, what's the big idea? Let me figure out its weakness. I see. It's cobbled together from these metal parts. We should target its joints. Use the falling parts to counter its attacks and destroy its unstable structure. What if I just beat the shit out of it? It's dead. First aid. to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corda Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. But later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. That's so interesting. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. <laughs> So, Rover, now it's time for Drop me to fulfill lower, my promise. Uncle. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? As you already know, we monitor and research the Lament. And we've got Resonance Beacon. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of Tacitite ore, which powers our... This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the Lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the Lament's all we could do for now is a What do you want to know? All right, all right, no more beating around the bush. 
They just wanted to make sure the Black Shores members all work together to save the world from the lament crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life. We like your skills and methods. What do you want to know about Camellia? Yeah, she can be kind of unhinged, but she's indeed one of ours. Damn. Just so you know, she only took up this mission because of you. I know she could be a bit too. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? We just received a warning from our lament detection system. Another Thronodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's. Yes. Entire countries have what do you want to know about the black? I'm just an insignificant, but I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time you woke up at the Black Shores. What? We've been reawakened multiple times? Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thernodians. And prevent the lament crisis. Yep, Uncar can prove it. The Thrino. I understand. Trust isn't something. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you? Earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also for you. Anyway, mission. Uh, glad I got you on board. Oops, almost forgot. Wait, no, it can't be. Hey, Alto. Wait. Okay, bye. Notice, coming into a long mission flow, leaving to Cesar with enter the current mission flow, and you can subsequently continue the experience to the last arc of point. Okay. Encore heard lightning. When there's lightning, it's gonna rain. And when it's gonna... Oh, no, 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 no! Alto said when it rains like this, we hide! No, this is, it's the real retroact ring. Rover, Jinjo. Jinjo is under attack. It's a TD outbreak. Oh shit. Act five, all right. I like your wings when they come out. Thank you. This rain, it's finally happening. Dragon Daddy. General. Yes, how's it going? We have 500 remaining soldiers prepared and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote for retroact rain, they have reported minimal hallucinations and no adverse effects. However, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the rain. I see. Stay alert. We will continue as planned. Report any signs of potential TD outbreaks immediately. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the rain stops. Aye, sir. Oh. Stronger emotional connection to the affected area leads to more intense hallucinations. Upside down rain, yeah. That's what they said. I should go for another round of inspection. Make sure everything is going as planned. Does anyone know how many acts there are currently? I have no clue. Uh, 
Okay, I will be right back. I need to pee. And I want to grab a snack, so I'm going to run an ad while I go grab that. Y'all behave yourselves, and I'll be back in just a minute. Victory will be ours. 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 Jet, I swear, give me like two seconds. <laughs> we decided to get some cupcakes. I don't know. Okay. Trust that medic. 
I do think we should be careful. Something's wrong with this rain. Hey, you see? The raindrops. They're falling off. That day, as the rain fell, we watched in uncertainty. Unsure, the retroact rain should have been a harmless wave-worn phenomenon. However, the Thronodian's influence Hello. enhanced its effect. Our city cannot endure another tragedy like that. The plan is simple. We will use the cliffs as a boundary to divide the battlefield into two. Our ranged units will secure the high ground, while our ground forces, meanwhile, we will deploy resonators to the suspended ruins where most of the tacit discords are located. Squad 2 and 3 will flank, while General Geshu leads Squad 1 to break their front line. Our goal is to shift from defense to offense and disrupt their strategies. In a word... Our strategic plan was crafted three years ago, taking into account the truth. But now, there could be unknown risk factors. packs a serious punch it's already so powerful in my hands when i'm just an ordinary person now if i was a resonator careful tassite weapons are not so safe to operate rest assured i'll take out those monsters before it blows up in my face the ministry of development once designed a weapon for non as non-resonators lack the necessary forte to control the weapon and prolonged exposure to tacitite energy posed health risks. That's why the weapons could... After taking over as general, I revamped the Midnight Ranger's recruitment tactics. Her primary... I still remember the admirable courage in those ordinary people's eyes as they fall. Let's join the Riverside Games after we beat that monster. The River... You won first place in the last armed race, remember? And don't back... We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. If everything goes well, perhaps we can hold. Okay, so I've talked to all the. He's so pretty. I'm so sorry. Like, fuck, man. Can he be of the life of the. General. General. We've got all equipment repaired, attack type weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. None, but. The rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? One of our combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven and proven. However, I do agree this will be our last chance. Sir, his name is... Gian. General, help, help, please help me. It was fake. Oh, that must be so bad. What do you make of this, Gian? Oh, it's the guy! It's the guy! It's the guy! Maybe you are right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but this is our only chance. The enemy we've been yearning to destroy is, and now you're asking me to sit back and do silence. Is this your response or is it fear holding your tongue? No, I see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end... But what about your brethren? Friends and comrades? As you witness them viciously slain, but will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer? There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep the retroact rain merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. Huh. I guess it's not detecting my model because of the sun? It wasn't interesting. Oopsies, I didn't know.
will crush anything in our path. No questions asked. And I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. You're a dick. I don't like you. Jaron, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day if you were in my position? Whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Prove yourself to me, Gian. General Gersh... General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. And we cherish our comrades, not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives' worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, you look pale. I am fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky, it looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the crescent. It's time. Sir, the mid- Attention all troops! Take position and get ready to engage, sir. When the moon turns full, the roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, Someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? Oh. Who is that? are stunning.
It looks almost full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover? Maybe this is the... Citizens of Jinjo, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. We knew this was coming and we were ready, but oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane. Thanks for coming in time, Rover. And we'll, oh, Director Tao Chi is here too. For a better rundown of the situation, you can find her near the city gate. Oh, there's what's his name? I have him. Any update on the protected barrier? We've put in all our resources to repair it, but if those tacit discords keep coming at us, it might not hold up for long. Ah, I presume you must be Rover. Hmm, maybe we've met somewhere before. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi. A director at the Ministry of Development. I'm in charge of our defense fortifications. I'm sorry I called your boobs wobbly. Thank you for lending us a hand. It's our defense system against the retroact rain. It does a good job of keeping the city safe from the rain's effects. Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinjo City. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The retroact rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the etheric sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places, allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. The more you're exposed to the rain, the more realistic those phantoms become. Oh, so wait, does that mean... Oh. And here's another interesting fact about the retroact rain. When it's raining across a large area, illusions pulled from the memories of multiple people can manifest at once. Oh? Nice catch, Rover. Jinjo has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has to deal with the Thrinodian that represents a concept of war. And wars will lead to deaths. Once the Retroact Rain reaches its final stage, there will be thousands of phantoms. Phantoms of dead- This is the one major threat that has been looming over Jinjo. Our magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed. The phantoms should only mechanically repeat what they had been, but the retroact rain can be significantly enhanced through the Thrinodian's power. As a result, said phantoms become increasingly realistic. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Northal Barrens or produced by retroact rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers repeated their indiscriminate attacks on everything in their sight. Soldiers could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades, etched in vivid detail. That's terrifying. The Norfolk Barons turned into a living hell, and to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. Damn. 
The battle beneath the crescent was humanity's first recorded encounter with retroact rain enhanced by Threnodian power. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. Those videos provided crucial information, which allowed nations worldwide to speed up their research. Our people at the Black Shores have theorized that the Thrinodian abnormal moon sightings and the retroact rain may be linked. Yeah, something like that. But it's only a theory. We don't have enough data to verify anything. So, unfortunately, we can't predict retroact rains yet. But we know it's closely connected with Thrinodian's reviving. The TD. The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thrinodian's revival is never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. Telepath the revival of a Thrinodian in Jinjo will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the Tethys base. Recalibrate our lament detector and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, we'll take our leave now. Please stay safe. That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Mom, there's another wave of them ahead. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. Activate the defense mechanisms! Okay, that's sick. That is sick. Okay, that was sick, yo. the outpost it's still under attack okay that is sick that they're like the characters themselves are legitimately playing like you're playing them and i fucking love First, it the end has come are still fighting in there. We must go help them. <sighs> Finally. We made it. Oh, thank you so much. It's dangerous here. Let's head back first. This is the last one. Rover, your moves are sharp as always. Dealing with so many TDs seem like a walk in the park for you. Rover, did you see that? 
Now, it's almost identical to what we saw three years ago, during the battle beneath the Crescent. I'm afraid we're already running out of time. Report the situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier has been fully repaired, and we have evacuated all residents. We've successfully minimized the damage. Well done, Director Tauchi. Is this another pre-recorded message? Indeed. It's been a while, Rover. It's been going according to plan, if I may say so. I was made aware of this in advance, and planned out our defense beforehand. Now that we are facing such an emergency, I cannot sit back and wait for Jui to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much-needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Also, our experts should be ready by now. Rover, do you still remember Jue's message for you? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream, and the Midnight Rangers General in the Norfall Barrens, ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Jue was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Trino. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats. Regardless of the out. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinja Yang Yang. You're one of our outriders. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to reach our base in the Desert Rock Highland. Please, be careful. Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? Thanks! I'll give it my all. It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. The city. Rest assured, you can count on me. I will keep everyone safe. Mm, me too. Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop. We, we got, got this! this! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. God, I love these Rover, types of moments. Yang Yang, I've informed General Jian that you're heading to his place. He will be meeting up with you soon. May victory prevail the lasting night! Also, the music is really good. South gate. Enemy attack weakening. This wave is almost over. Tell the truth from the sun. are spent. Hold your ground! Come on! You got this! The discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier.
Ashu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. The Baiju is overseeing operations at the Academy, while Morterfi has arrived at the end of that rover. I see. We have successfully... I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency fluctuate. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. A couple more tacit discords here. Time to get rid of them. He's acting like we like can't handle them ourselves. This is very amusing, honestly. Thundering Mephis. What? The Thrinodian's revival has done significant damage to the environment nearby. Things have gotten even more dangerous out here. The closer we get to Norfolk Barrens, the worse it gets. The streams feel heavy with dread and the smell of blood. There must be a brutal fight going down in the Deserok Island. The tacit field directed Tao Chi mentioned should be right up ahead. We must pass through it to reach our base and find General GN. I wonder what other anomalies await us ahead. Is that one of our soldiers? Those soldiers, there are more types of discords. Be careful. The rhetoric brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There, another wounded soldier. Are you? What happened? The thundering. I'm. I'm. This is where our supply station is. We were on our way. Thundering Mephis. In the end, this place. Watch out! <laughs> Hello, sir. It's him, General. I love this man. Thundering Mephis. We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. 
As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Not to mention, countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General... Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. The honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. Thank you for lending us a hand. I should properly welcome you with Huang Long's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Aw, oh, the shy MC. <laughs> Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. Hmm. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. For someone to show up as a phantom in the Retroact Rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain, and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the Gorges of Spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thrunodian. Julie prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Yes. Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenum Moon. Again? Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thranodian of War, would be reawakening soon. Um... It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. I'm the so Norfall confused. Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thranodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. To remain calm in such an extreme situation, your composure is admirable indeed. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. I've taken care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, okay. I was about to say.
Oh. That's the Thronodian. Oh god. Wait, why is there a barrier? What the fuck? <laughs> Obithrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. He managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over. Greetings, General. Oh, it's been a while. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be seeing you here. I don't Jiang know how much recently arrived at our base with one of the supply is. delivery teams. She has been a great help. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barrens to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, cries and moan. Master once told me countless brave souls have been trapped. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the Academy determined they were not native to the Norfolk Barrens and instead had been conjured. After analyzing their behavior, while the Overthrax is still weakened with looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreak, please. Join me in mapping out this. Okay, we're still in that. I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support. We have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfolk Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous. Narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies, with the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an edge, time is of the essence. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield. Rover. Let's plan carefully first, our ranged units, but we need to strategize based if we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage. Okay, to the I force. did the right thing. <laughs> Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Hmm. I would say either from the flank or the rear. To infiltrate enemy lines, a small group of our forces will enter through gaps in their formation and attack from the rear. This maneuver takes time and requires caution to avoid detection, particularly in a valley where evasion is difficult. Small infiltration forces may stay hidden but risk being overwhelmed by enemy attacks. Alternatively, diverting forces could lead to losing on the main front. We have little knowledge of what's happening behind enemy lines. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? We could divert some forces to flank the enemy, disrupting their formation and gaining an edge.
However, a successful outflank requires a wide battlefield. But the small passage of Bro, I chose every wrong answer. <laughs> and we can't predict everything that'll happen on the battlefield. Our diversion could leave our front line vulnerable. It may not be the how should the infantry engage enemy tar now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation. The infantry will attack head on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force. If the chance arises, they what should the special task force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky, but necessary. Thank you, Rover. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire. Yue Hui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Okay. okay. Yes, and I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Is, is this the end? Can I end now? Good. I want to... Are we all clear on what? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb Freak. One of our top priorities now is to protect the Disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General GM, Rover. What How's the preparation hey. going on your side? A man! We've got good news and bad news. <laughs> good news is we've established connection to the Disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is, the disruptors, simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first. Any questions? By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be... Lastly, we've got more... Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large, the disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit disc. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its Jianxian. Please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. Okay. Can I stop now? I have to go to bed soon. This is a... Thank fucking God. All right. Unfortunately, as much as I would love to continue, because this is like, it's so hype. I cannot. I have work tomorrow. I start my new job, and I gotta be on time, so... The music is also so sick. Ah! I'm so upset. Alright, let's move over to our ending. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Seriously, thank you so much for the $100 of the Trevor Project. I did all the redeems, and later this month, we will have a Steam gift giveaway, so you guys should be looking out for that. Um, we're going to raid someone. I need to find someone who's live. And we will continue more Withering Waves tomorrow. Um, I'm going to finish up probably the main story. And then anything I do will be off stream for now. And then we will probably continue with, like, Dead by Daylight and some other stuff.
That being said, um... There we go. Uh, we'll read, we'll wait, we'll wait for Buki. For Buki is a bean. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.